Welcome everyone to the High Performance Container Workshop Virtual Edition this time. I'm very sad not to be with everyone in place, but hope everyone is staying healthy and safe at home and that everyone is very eager to learn about containers and what it's the state of containers for 2020. I'm going to be talking in this uh, build section about Builda. So why the name I'm going to start there is thanks to Downwash Boston Accent. Uh, it was supposed to call Builder, but thanks to Downwash, it's called Builda, and then the Boston Terrier as the logo. So my name is Eduardo Rango. I'm a Open Chief Software Engineer at Red Hat, and that's my Twitter handle in case you want to follow me. And I'm always asking, solving questions there. So what is Builda? To start, Builda is one of the three main container tools, command line tools developed for the Open Container Initiative. As Christian introduced this talk, is a Red Hat develop a tool but it's an open source tool so it's not owned by the red hat it's just that it was burned at red hat and it's a tool a command line tool to build oci compatible images that means images build build that can run with docker with podman and with kubernetes that means you can run them with cryo with kata containers with whatever oci compatible runtime you want to run them and it's a drop-in replacement for building containers, not for running containers. So it's a, replay, a full sort of tools to replace the Docker build command. And you can build from traditional Docker files and it's very flexible as we're going to see. Some of the questions we always, we always get from Builda is Podman and Docker also have a Podman build, Docker build, why? Uh, different tool like a, a standalone tool for building images and is that one of the main things that i like from builder is that is that it is a tool just for focusing on building images and the main reason why builder was born is to build images inside a kubernetes cluster by using cryo or even docker if you're using kubernetes with docker and you can build images inside a, a running container. So when Kubernetes moved to Cryo as, a, as the runtime, there was no need for a Docker daemon. There before, no need to install Docker into our host with Kubernetes. And this left us without a root own daemon that was able to build this kind of images because we know that for running Docker build or Portman build, sometimes we need sudo, we need the rudo access. However, if we want to use the same Kubernetes clusters to do builds, or in case of OpenShift cluster also, we need to do these builds inside a running container. And here's the awesomeness of build that came in. So you can call build that as a standalone binary inside your con running container and start working with it and building all your layers and everything you need inside a container image. So let's try to differentiate container images from container, a running container. And it allows final granular control over building an image and what you wanna call a layer versus when you just define a Docker file and everything that is on these steps that we call run or work there or copy, they are going to become a, a commit layer of an image. Here with build that you can push everything you want into a single layer, or you can really define what a layer is for you by committing many changes to a single layer and just telling build that what do you want from that layer. Builda runs command is not the same as podman run command. So what you're building is for building images, not for running the actual container, like podman run or docker run. 
that build the run command is essentially the same as Dockerfile run when we define this run in uppercase in our Dockerfile command. In fact, I'm going to show this in a demo. Builder can also build images from scratch. And this is nothing like when we define this uh, from base scratch. I'm going to be showing what is building an image from scratch with Builder. As I was telling, Builder can be seen as a drop in replacement from Docker Build, and it can take this Docker file and use it by telling Builder, but and defining the name that I want to give to this container. So here I'm showing a regular Docker file coming from Fedora 32, and it's going to build this image for me. But the thing is, it is going to create a layer for every run, add, run, work did for me. But what if I want more control of what I want to call an image? Or as sometimes in, in this HPC environment, we want to have everything in a single layer, right? Uh, when we start talking about containers in HPC, sometimes is everything about SquashFS images or squashing everything into a single layer so then I can mount that and run it from there. So with Builder, we can do that. All these layers that I'm defining in the previous Docker file, I can then use Builder to put them all in a single layer and build it from scratch. Or just as I'm going to show in the demo, we can do this by not using a Docker file, but using just a regular bash script. So let's move to the command line and show how I'm going to do this. So the first thing that I want to show is native commands with Builder. And what I really want to highlight here is that I'm going to be using regular bash scripting here, no Docker file, no Docker commands. And here is what build that really shines and where you can see why it was designed as just a binary that can be run inside a running container. So here we are going to be building what is called the demo for the GNU hello example. And this can be also defined as a make file, like you can do this with a make file and define all this as make target. And what I'm doing here is building the same container that I showed with the Docker file in the slide before this, but here I'm building it using bash scripting, showing that it can become very flexible to define what I want inside the container. And all of this is going to become just one single layer when I do this at the end. So when I do build a commit in a format Docker, all of this is going to become just one image layer and is going to be committed as the container hello latest in my host. Now what I want to show is this. So another very cool feature for Builder and what it really shines for HPC environment is that you can work with mounted containers. So what I'm showing here is I'm getting again the Fedora 32 base image and I'm mounting that uh, base layer with Builder. So it is going to mount it for me. I don't have to do anything else. And everything I do after that, as I was telling in the slides before, is going to be seen by that running container, but that running building container is going to be saved in, in that image as if I were running a Docker file with run, 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 right? So here again, I'm trying to redefine that Docker file that I showed before to build the GNU Hello World. But the cool thing here is that everything that you are watching here, like curl, tar, make, configure, 
these binaries are being called from the host. So this way I don't need my base container to come with curl install, with tor, with make. And this will allow me to have a very thin or a small container because if I know that I'm going to be building a container that is going to be very big, very huge, I don't want then my container to carry on tools that I use just for building or compiling my binary. So I can use the binaries in my host, mount the base layer or the Fedora 32 here, build, compile what I, my tool, and then define my container, commit it with build that, and it is going to create my container and leave all those tools, like here I'm showing Kurt or make outside the container. So I'm just using my the binaries in my host to compile, to build something in my container and then just walking away. And lastly, before I run out of my 10 minutes, I wanna show a quick interactive demo of the main features of Builda. So hope I can run this sometime. View the demo. So here I'm checking Builda. I'm using version 1.11. So this is a real L8 host. So this is the version that comes from scratch from default in your real 8 host. Builda info. So this is what is coming with my Builda. It is enabled for fuse overlays. So this is a cool feature that you can now use in Real 8 or in Real 7.8. So you can already start using Builda with overlays, fuse overlays, and all kind of different features to enable extra security when building a container in a rootless way. So let's create our fish container image. So here I'm looking at uh, Alpine container, just make it fast, and I'm going to create a container. So here is where I'm going to show how to create a container from scratch. So I was showing in the scripts before, I'm just calling build that from scratch. Now I'm going to mount that. I'm going to see where it's mounted. And there you can just start running bash scripts against that mount and that will become your container afterwards. Then you can see that I created a container with bash scripting and it just created one layer out of everything I was running against that image. And now I'm just going to create it from a Docker file. Which is basically the same process. Little bit of cleaning. So you can build rootless 
way of using Builda in your Rail 7.8 or 8 right now. So it comes from default. Also, the good news is that Builda and Podman just got accepted by the Debian packages. So you can start using this in Ubuntu and Debian. And thank you very much. Now, before my time right now, uh, Builda just released the 1.14 release. If you scan this QR code, you're going to see all the release notes. Uh, the good things about this release is that it comes with signing and removing of signatures. Also comes with container.conf. That is a feature very designed for HPC users. And I just hope you can try it out. And again, if you look for me on Twitter on on the QA. I'm happy to respond. Any questions? Thank you.